Hey everybody, welcome back to the EKG Review. My name is Reed. Love doing these videos. If you have good feedback for me, please feel free to leave them in the comments. And uh, let's go from there. So, first thing I like to do with EKGs is I like to just get a general idea of what's going on with the rhythm. And I like to do that by what I call looking at the forest. And the trees of the forest are my QRS. And so I'll come down to lead two here. And what I notice is I've got these narrow QRSs. And they seem to be almost slowing down and speeding up, right? Look at this interval here from my narrow QRSs, and then it's getting wider and wider very slowly. And then it's almost getting back to a little bit more of a narrow. And in the, in the middle of it, I've got this beat right here that looks a little bit different. It's kind of a funky beat. So I'm just gonna mark that to come back. And I notice I've got another funky beat here. And a funky beat to start off with. And what I mean by funky, is I mean that it doesn't have the same morphology as my normal narrow QRSs. And so I see these changing QRS durations. Well, is this a, you know, an AV note block? Is this sinus arrhythmia? Well, let's take a look and see what is the atria doing and so the first thing I like to do to evaluate the atria is I look for P waves and I see I've got P waves in front of these QRSs. I don't see any dropped P waves in between the QRSs. My P waves are upright in lead one. They are upright in AVF and that tells me that my P waves are going down and to the left and so that is a sinus P wave. It's important to make sure it's a sinus P wave. And so in the setting of P waves with, we'll look at here, that have conduction to the ventricles with a normal PR interval. This PR interval is normal. It's in between 120 to 200 milliseconds or three to five small boxes. And so we have a normal PR interval I see one P wave for every QRS. And if you notice here at the top, I say that this is a young 32 year old male. And in that setting, we see that this rate is getting slower and then it's getting faster. And so this is a really good example of a common finding that we see, especially in young healthy individuals, something called sinus arrhythmia, a rib. I think I just spelled that wrong. Sinus arrhythmia. And sinus arrhythmia is variation in the heart rate with inspiration and expiration. And if you want to understand the true mechanism behind that, it's about the changing in intrathoracic pressures. I've got another video on sinus arrhythmia. So this is a normal finding in this case. We look at our rate here, and it's not an alarming rate. We've got maybe a rate of 300, 150, 100, 75, 60, somewhere between maybe around 65 beats per minute. And so that's exactly what we would expect our sinus node to do. So all very reassuring findings here. So we've got this sinus arrhythmia that we've noticed and we've got narrow QRSs. Let's, let's make sure we completely evaluate our QRS. So I've got a narrow QRS. My QRS axis is, if I look at my normal QRSs here, I'll erase this. My normal QRSs are upright in lead one. They are upright in AVF. That tells me that my QRS axis is going down to the left, which is a normal QRS axis. That's what we want. And so now we evaluate for our STT wave changes, any pathological Q waves. I scan through and I don't see any in the anatomical, in any anatomical distributions. And so now let's return to these funky beats that we said earlier. And what I'll first do is I'll look at the morphology of the QRS. I see that normal QRSs are very narrow and these are much wider QRSs. 
And so when I see a premature beat, notice these beats are all coming early. When I notice a premature beat, typically what I think of a wide complex premature beat is a premature ventricular contraction. But the only way I can confirm that it's a ventricular contraction is look in front of that. If I look in front of it and I say, is there a P wave? Do I see a P wave? And in this case, I see a T wave from the previous beat. So this is our T's. And I do not see a P wave superimposed. And I can compare it to our previous T waves to determine, is there a P wave that might be hiding in that T wave? And I do not see a P wave. So I do not see a P wave. And so this wide complex premature contraction is a premature ventricular contraction. I see the same thing here, where I've got this premature, wider, complex beat. And when I look in front of it, I see no P's. So here's another PVC. And then, likely, we've got here another PVC, because I've got this wider complex QRS with no P waves in front of it. Remember, if you're worried about a P wave, but there's a T wave obscuring your view, compare the T waves to the previous T waves. And if you see maybe a double notching in that T wave, then you might can think there's probably a P wave hiding in there. But in this case, that's, that's not what's going on. And so what is our overall diagnosis of this rhythm? We've got sinus rhythm with sinus arrhythmia and PVCs. So I hope this helps you and uh, have a great day.